Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. Since the last time we talked about one of the biggest cargo military aircraft in the world, the C5 Galaxy from United States, and I really enjoyed making that kind of video, I thought why don't we do the same but with the biggest cargo helicopter in the world and this is why this time we have the Mi-26 from Russia, the biggest active cargo helicopter in the world. Before starting I would like to mention another helicopter that actually is bigger and it's the Mil V12. Also this one is a Russian helicopter from the Mil Design Bureau but existed in only two prototypes and it was cancelled so this is why it's not the argument of the video, it's not in use, it was only tested and cancelled. So if you are still curious about this huge beast maybe in the future we can make another dedicated video so let me know. But for now let's start with the Mil 26 and enjoy the video. Keep in mind that this helicopter is really a monster, it's huge. You can't imagine how big is it, but let's start checking the informations. First of all, it has a crew of five, so we have the pilot, the co-pilot and the other crews needed for the loading, unloading, we have an engineer, some more members than usual. Uh, it's been produced from 1982 and until now 316 of them were built and are still in use. This monster has a cost of 23.1 million dollars and it's actually a lot, especially for a country like Russia where the usual prices are lower. This helicopter was updated many times during his lifespan and the latest update was introduced in 2018. But let's start with the main information, the one we like, the most juicy one. And we start with the dimensions. It has a length of 40 meters. So can you understand how much is it? 40 meters is huge. It's just like an airplane. Actually there are smaller, much smaller airplanes. It has an 8 of 8 meters, so just like an house, and it has a rotor diameter of 32 meters. So the rotor alone is wider than an Olympic pool. It's really huge. Uh, the rotor has 8 blades, but actually this is not a very crucial information, but I think it's interesting to know. And even if this helicopter is so big, it can still reach a maximum speed of 295 km per hour. That is uh, actually a very good number, it's very fast for an helicopter so big. And a cruise speed of 255 km per hour, so also this one is uh, very good. For the range we have 800 km, also this one is a very good achievement, and a ferry range of 1920 km. The ferry range is when the helicopter is without a payload and it's only needed to transport the helicopter from a place to another. The service sailing is only 4600 meters. it's not so much but for an helicopter of this kind it's not really needed. Also, if it can transport troops, it has a climb rate of 8.1 meters per second. That actually, also, this one is quite fast to be an helicopter so big. And here we can find how it can achieve these results. Because for the power plant, we have two turboshaft engines with a total power of 16,760 kilowatts. But keep in mind that this is not the most important aspect of the helicopter. In fact, if we check the second position biggest cargo helicopter in the world, the CH-53 from United States, we can notice that it has three turboshaft engines with a total power of 16,800 kilowatts. So they are not so different in terms of a power plant, but the final result, yes, it's very different. And we will very soon check how much different it is. In fact, for the Mi-26, we have an empty weight of 28,200 kilograms with a maximum takeoff weight of 56,100 kg. And now the most important characteristic of a cargo helicopter, of course, the payload. For the payload we have 25,000 kg. That is a lot. It can even lift an aircraft. And I'm not kidding, it's not just uh, my idea. It really can do it. And we have the proofs. It can really lift aircraft. And not only that, but if we want to only to take in account the internal base or the space it has inside for the troops, it can transport up to 150 troops. There are so many people! 150 troops inside an helicopter. Like an aircraft. Can you understand how incredible it is? Because actually, aircraft of course are faster, bigger, 
they are very good, but they can't land without a runway. So this is why it's so important having an helicopter that can do the same work of an aircraft. This monster can take off and land without a runway in actually not so much space. We have uh, the rotor, of course, is quite big, as we said before. We have a rotor diameter of 32 meters, so you need actually some space to land. But of course, it's still better than having a full runway to land. So this is why it's so important, 150 troops. But as we said before, the second spot, the CH-53, what it can actually do? Well, let's check. As we can see, the payload is 10,000 kilograms less. We have a payload of 15,900 kilograms. And about the passengers, only 55 troops. They are still a lot, of course, but still 100 less troops. Even if the engines have more or less the same amount of power, the difference in the performance are really huge. And why that? Well, most of the result is achieved by the rotor. In fact, you have to understand that for aircrafts, the power plant are of course important, but not so much as you may think. Even for the aircraft, it's the same. Usually, most of the lifting is achieved by the wings for the aircraft and by the rotors for the helicopters. In this case, the Mi-26 has a diameter rotor of 32 meters and 8 blades, while for the CH-53 we have a rotor diameter of 24 meters with 7 blades. It's really interesting to notice how this rotor diameter length and the number of blades makes a so huge difference. Physics can be really awesome. And also for today that's all. I hope you enjoyed this fast and short video where we talk about a military argument in the easiest way possible. I'm really enjoying this kind of video and I hope it's the same for you as well. If yes, leave a like and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video, where I can improve or if maybe I missed something important. But remember, the purpose of this kind of video is to bring you a content that usually can be more difficult to understand for who is new to this kind of argument in the easiest way possible. So I don't want to make a very long and very difficult video, but something much easier like this one. Of course, for who is interested, we can make also uh, a second version of this kind of videos, more detailed, more difficult. For now, it's just an idea, so let me know in the comments what you think about it. If you have any kind of question, remember that not only you can leave a comment and ask me about them, but during the live streams I'm open to any kind of questions. So, uh, also if you don't like the argument of the live streams, that usually is about the Lego constructions of still military things, so maybe you may like it, remember that you can still join them and ask me about anything. And also for today that's all, so see you next week with a new video. Bye!